What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see, we got some guys on the screen that I ain't really seen too often, but expect them to be up here a couple times throughout the year. So we got here Nick and Brandon. Fellas, what's good with y'all? I'll start with Brandon since his name alphabetically goes first. What's up, Brody? How you doing, bro? Pretty good, pretty good, man. You, you seem a little tired. Look like you've been working out a little bit. I don't know. You, you good? You good? Look yeah. like you're all fluffy. <laughs> yeah, a little, little killer workout earlier, but I'm good. I'm okay, good. All right, I got you. I got you. Keep training, my boy. Maybe you'll get better than me sometime at some point. Now. We'll see how it shakes. Nick, how's everything with you? <laughs> I'm I'm doing well. I appreciate you having me back on. I'm I've got the nice little caffeine running through the veins, so I'm ready. All right, all right. I mean, hey, I, I told you you were gonna come on the show again because hey, fun fact, he had a lot of stats to throw around. So you know, Brandon, as you know, both of you and I know, stats ain't all part of the game, but they do kind of help sway some things a little bit. So and he was also giving a little context as well with those stats. I definitely wanted to bring Nick back onto the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Listen, listen, listen. We got a wonderful division to talk about, all right? Um, and, you know, before we do that, I just want to give a nice little WNBA plug. Shout out to Asia Wilson because she did just drop 53 of them bangs. You know what I mean? Like 16 out of 21 ain't bad. But 20 out of 21 free throws, Asia, you got to act. You got to stop acting stupid out there on the floor. Like, that's crazy. We got that. that hey, congratulations to you out now I got to get your jersey. Like, that's just wild. I'm, I'm mad I didn't do it with your jersey. I'm pissed now. It's crazy. But, you know, at least I, I'm giving you flowers on getting a bucket while wearing DT's jersey. At least she got a bucket. So I'm paying homage to you both. But um, back on track, fellas, and we got to talk about the Southwest Division. Um, I, I, I'm just going to run down a couple teams here, a couple questions, see what shakes for y'all. So, so then thinking of futures, um, Let's talk about the Spurs real quick. And they just, you know, they went number one, right? They, they got Victor Wimbanyama, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of cool. That's kind of nice. Seven four, seven five. Kevin Durant mixed with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's what everybody's talking about. Cool. Um, but, like, Brandon, real quick, what if the Spurs are getting the number one draft pick again because of their record is that trash? Like, are you going to be surprised? Or, like, is that a problem to you? Because, I mean – they were the number one pick this season, and we're now talking about a young fellow who is just now entering the league. So, is it going to be a surprise or a problem? I don't think it would be a surprise. Just when I just look at the overall layout of like all the teams in the NBA right now, mm-hmm. I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise to me, to be honest with you. So, uh, I don't expect much from the Spurs this season. I don't think one player would just change the whole dynamic of the team and just make that much of a difference. Although I do feel like he's unique in his own way. Uh, I don't feel like he's going to just take the team to the playoffs this first year. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Spurs end up getting a number one pick again next year. Um, so, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, nah, it's it's a little wild. Again, I, I've talked to some Spurs fans. I think, I think I told you about this before, but, like, someone put $100 that – well, they bet me $100 that the Spurs would have a better record than my Lakers. Like, that's that's not progressive. Like, that's not going to happen at all. Uh, Nick, what's your, what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on the Spurs? Um, and, and, and let me try to pull up the Spurs, actually, organization. You know what I'm saying? Let me try to pull up their roster. Do you think the Spurs are going to sit up there and have a, uh, a, a number one pick again or, or – or, 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 do you think, you know what, they might be all right this season? What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts? So, uh, as somebody who has done a lot of work with Victor, uh, like, on Victor Lemanyama, so, so, like, scouting everything, that because apparently this guy, like you said, he came in with incredible uh, hype. You know, mm-hmm. some of the greatest, like, in my basketball watching life, maybe the biggest, like, prospect that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Um, but that being said, anybody with any any sort of realistic expectations – understands that he's not going he's going to be great defensively immediately i think he's going to be really really good i'm going to say great as a, as a rookie for rookie standards um offensively he's going to struggle uh he's going to struggle at first because he's going to have to get used to the physicality of the nba um and he's going to be taking a lot of shots that maybe aren't going to be efficient yet but maybe soon 
Um, but it does seem like the the Spurs added a bunch of players. Devontae Graham, you know, they have a bunch of players in in Jeremy Sochan, Delvin Johnson. They also added Reggie Bullock, I think, unless basketball reference is betraying me again, and Cameron Payne. <laughs> They're clearly dedicated to not being the worst team in the league. I'm not saying this is a playoff team that that this roster is talking about, but this is at least uh some some respectable team uh that's going to sort of play hard win games they've got a lot of sort of players who have won before they i think they've done yeah. some great thing to bring in people who are veterans and who can teach the young bucks now that they got um to sort of how to win this is going to be sort of a transition period for them so i don't think they're going to get the number one pick unless they get really lucky okay so you don't think they're going to be that bad that they're going to play They'll win like 30 something. Right. It, it would have to be because they own somebody else's draft picks or something like that. It's not going to be off their personal play. Okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. I think um, it's not going to be a problem if the Spurs get a number one draft pick. Uh, but at the same time, I do think you'll kind of have to cut down the conversation of, oh, he's the most hyped player since Braun. He's going to do this, that, and the third. Because we got to remember, too, I mean, if he gets the number one draft pick, I mean, Braun didn't necessarily get the number one draft pick his next year. He he did kind of, like, even though his team's a little bit different, I, I could say that Braun was on a better team than maybe Wimby is. But, like, Braun almost hit the playoffs, too. So I wouldn't want you to necessarily get the first pick. Like, that does sound a little tough to me, personally. I don't know. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised. But it's, like, to a degree, it's like a small letdown. Like, damn, Wimby. All right, I guess it's not all on you. I'm just saying I wanted I, I wanted that differently for you personally. So it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be a surprise. It's not gonna be a problem. It's just gonna be like oh, that's tough. That hurts. But for Spurs fans, it's a very real possibility too. Now though, it is possible. So don't get don't get too high and mighty out there, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't. Please don't. But um, fellas, I I greatly appreciate this. Went a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna be, but um, definitely had some good conversation. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I will definitely have y'all see uh, Brandon and Nick again. I'm, I don't know next time I'm going to ask him, though, because, you know, I want people to keep coming back onto the show. You can't keep utilizing your, your people's plugs like that. But, um, but, fellas, before we close up shop, do y'all have anything you want to say? See, I keep, he always want to be leaving every single time. I get you, Brandon. I get you. You don't He's have to. not a bad right now. <laughs> no, but, no, but, no, Nick, you got anything you want to say before we close up shop? Uh, Appreciate you having me back, and uh, you know this was fun. I, unfortunately, I kind of feel the last two times I've been on here, it's run a little long, so I kind of feel personally responsible. <laughs> but uh, uh, next time I'll try to keep it short and sweet uh, as much as I can. But I appreciate you having me on. And I appreciate the combo. Like it's always going to be content to edit and post out there, so I'm, I'm I'll, I appreciate this. Brandon, what you got to say for us, boy? Before we call, before the close up shop. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Someone get John Boy. Someone get John Boy on this. Read lips. Yeah, but oh, that, go, just give us a second. Give us a second. Hold on. Just one second. Nah. Nah, hold on. Write of signs. <laughs> just write it on paper. <laughs> just hold it up. <laughs> Accessibility. American Sign Language. Hey, hey, log out and come back in. Leave and come back in. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what he's back. We're good. All right, what you want to say before we close up shop? <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate you having me on here, Trey. I appreciate um uh, being on here again and I look forward to the next time. Oh, definitely, definitely. Like I said, I apologize for it going a little long. We'll try to keep it shorter next time. De most definitely, most definitely. But, uh, fellas, I'll see y'all again at some point in time this week, I'm sure, or at least sometime in the month or whatever. We're going to hoop at some point in time. But, people, hope you all like this video. You know, like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. Uh, my name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. <laughs>
did not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get.